Prayer to start your day. A new day is a gift from God. And the Bible says in Psalms 118 verse 24. This is the day which the Lord hath made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. And being that God has made it and made it possible for you to see it, you have got the privilege to rejoice and be glad in it and to enjoy it. But what are you supposed to do to enjoy and maximize the gift of the day? It is simple. Start the day with God. By thanking Him, acknowledging Him and appreciating Him for the gift of the new day. Hereafter you speak unto the day as you would want to have it. In appreciating God and acknowledging Him for whatever you have received. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3 verse 9. Honor the Lord with thy substance, and with the first fruits of all thine increase. That means, honor the Lord with all that you have got, particularly the firsts of it. And that also includes a new day. Because it was also received from him. For the Bible makes it clear in John 3 verse 27. That we have got nothing except as we have been given by God. John 3 27. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing, except it be given him from heaven. So a new day is also a gift from the Lord and you have got to honor him with the first part of it. And how do you do it? Firstly, by starting each day with prayers of thanksgiving, in the recognition of the truth that is God that has made it possible for you to see it. Thank him for the gift of it and then acknowledge him as the giver of it. And you then commit it into his hands to lead you, guard and guide you through it. In verse 5 of Proverbs chapter 3 the Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. And in verse 6 the Bible says that, In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. So the right entry behavior into each new day is to trust in the Lord with all your heart and not to lean unto your own understanding. And to acknowledge him as the giver of the new day. Only then he shall direct thy paths. When you have done that, the Lord then takes it upon himself to direct your paths through the day. And secondly, you have got to prophesy for the day as you would want it would be for you. The Bible says in Job 22 verse 28. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. So you have got to decree to the day as you would want to have it. Let us pray. Pray along with me as I pray. But before then, are you new here, please don't forget to subscribe to our prayer channel. Subscription link in the description box. God bless you. Alright, now, let us pray. Dear Father Lord, in the name of your Son Jesus the Christ, thank you for the gift of a new day. A day like no other. A day like never before. My new dawn day. A day of favor. A day of grace and glory. A day of wisdom and knowledge. A day I will live to remember for long. For your goodness, graciousness and empowerment. A day of a fresh and new beginning for me. A day that you have made for me to see and to rejoice and be glad in it. In accordance with Psalms 118 verse 24. Which says. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. A day you spoke about in Isaiah 43 verses 19 through 20 saying. Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth, shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. The beast of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the owls, because I give waters in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert, to give drink to my people, my chosen. A day that you talked about in Isaiah 45 verses 2 to 6 saying. I will go before thee, and make the crooked places straight, I will break in pieces the gates of brass, and cut in sunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness, and hidden riches of secret places, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. For Jacob my servant's sake, and Israel mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name, I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. I am the Lord, and there is none else, there is no God beside me, I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. That they may know from the rising of the sun, and from the west, that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. Dear Father Lord, let this be this new day for me. 
Let today be that day that you have made for me, my family and household to rejoice and be glad in it. Let it be the day that every mountain and oppositions of the kingdom of darkness working against us shall crumble. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let today be the day you will pay all my laboring with favor. A day of favor for me as your word promises in Psalms 102 verse 13. Saying, You will arise and have mercy on Zion, for the time to favor her. Yes, the set time, has come. Father, let today indeed be the day you will arise and have mercy on me and my family. A day that favor will speak for us in all things, in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore dearest Lord, help me to walk with you obediently and blamelessly, so as not to miss in any of the things you have in stock for me. In the name of Jesus Christ, help me to obey you completely and to walk in your perfect will for me all through the day, so as to abound in your favor and blessings all through today. In the name of Jesus Christ, let today be the day you will treat me with your word of Psalms 23 verses 1 through 6, which says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures, he leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul, he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies, thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Help me this day dearest Lord, so as not to walk in the counsel of the ungodly, but to be completely consumed and delighted in doing your will in accordance with your word of Psalms 1 verse 1 through 6, which says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Lord, this I pray for this day. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, let me prophesy over your day. Father in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As the scripture says that I shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto me and light shall shine on my way. I decree and prophesy, this week shall favor all my listeners. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any opportunity they have missed in life shall be restored to them today. Their going out is blessed and their coming in blessed. Whosoever that shall rise against them shall be defeated before them. Goodness, mercy and favor shall accompany them to every destination today. In the name of Jesus Christ. They shall suffer no loss nor breakdown. Today shall be then the best day of their life. I pull down every mountain or stumbling block put on their ways to success and breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. None of my listeners shall suffer shame, delays or humiliation. And for the shame that any of them might have suffered in the past. I decree and declare double compensation and restoration for them today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because you are starting today with God, I prophesy open doors for you. Financial open doors, spiritual open doors, business open doors, marital open doors, academic open doors, in the name of Jesus Christ. Because you are starting today with God, may He be your guard and guide you throughout the day into the realms of no limits. May the favor you will meet today pay for all your years of labor, in the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in this prayer, we appreciate it. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. It will help the video to reach more people. Also, our team will appreciate it if you could share this video with your friends on social media. Are you new here? Subscribe, and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.